so picking up where we left off i've got to remember to talk not very much but picking up where we left off where had i even been i found the way to the fungal wastes uh i found the stuff cellar yeah i guess there's only one way for me to go now, which is to the fungal waste. So I'm not entirely sure what I was doing here. If I was uh, really paying attention, I should have uh, had a look at the archive of the previous streams, and then I could have figured out why I was uh, going here, what I was doing. But really, that's not uh, not inaccurate to my general mental state, let's be honest. Okay, can't go this way. I've only seen, I don't know, a third, a quarter of this game on my previous attempts to play it. But of the areas I have seen, I actually think that the opening crossroads is one of my favourite visually. I think there's something really lovely about the... Uh, Dust and echoes, the quiet solitude. And yes, I can appreciate the irony of saying that immediately before walking into the nest of giant worms. Let me know if my audio is alright, by the way, whether I should uh, boost it or change the game audio or anything. going to need some other means of getting up there. Hello. Always nice to have you here also. Definitely time to revisit the fungal wastes, which are basically this game's blight town. Oh, did I go back upstairs for a map? Maybe? Seems like the kind of thing I would do. I really enjoy the way that the, uh... oh, it's this guy, this creepy guy, this creepy fellow. But I really like the way that the, um, the same kind of verdant life feeling as in the greener area that we visited previously in the music is present here as well. There's a very strong feeling of life and liveliness, but it has a completely different tone to that of the uh, the other place we've been. Where there it's almost kind of joyful in its 
in its lifefulness. Uh, here it's sort of more curious, more mysterious. Okay, we have a this okay, my second my second favorite NPC then. <laughs> Strong contender for best noises right after the weird little wiggly worms. to finding the map of this zone. It sounds like if a cat was a trumpet. Hmm, weird. I wonder what this little space down here is for. There's usually a reason for odd nooks and crannies in level design. There doesn't seem to be a breakable wall or anything. Huh. Oh, that leads to the other side of this, but I already... I already opened that from this side. That's weird. Maybe there's some branches through this area. Oh shit, the rocket things. I do not wish to become exploded. Oh, now I remember. I was supposed to pick up from over here. Over here was where we left off, of course. Okay, that's locked. I have to come at that from the other side. That's not a door. It looks like it leads to the green zone. Oh, the fog canyon. Okay, so this is a whole other zone. Oh my god, it's the bank. Oh, Bakura Pinedo. Hello there, dearie. I was about to show close up shop and run till you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing and much more likely if you carry it, carry it about on yourself. My vault is much more secure. In all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Maybe you'd consider opening an account. I wonder if this guy's going to be accessible from the surface, like all the rest. You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beastie gets the best of you, you'll be glad to know your geo's safe within my shell- uh, I mean, my vault. Now let's do some banking. Uh, I'm going to come back when I have some money. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't relocate. Anyway. Uh, we should all have an inherent distrust of the financial industry, so... Hmm, spooky. Jellyfish. Adorable, highly explosive. And, uh... Ah, homing as well. Good to know. I wonder if we'll gain a map at some point that indicates how these different places relate to each other. Or if we're just supposed to figure that out as we go. Uh... 
Hmm, once again I find myself wondering if there's an upgrade we'll get later that lets us go through the poison water. Ah, explosions go through walls. We're learning so much about the physics. Oh, can you zoom in and out on the maps? Well, I have to be in a place where there is a map if I want to look at a map, apparently. Potentially good to know, regardless. I could simply refrain from murdering these things and not have to worry about the explosions. But we've chosen the path of violence and continue walking that path we must. This would probably be an inconvenient place to die. <laughs> I say, hurling myself into the electric death portal. Another good band name, actually. Hey man. Died again? Died again. Missed this previously. Not sure if I should be intimidated or consider this thing to be adorable. <clears throat> I think this one's based on a a giraffe weevil. Come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. This place must have been once quite the hub, built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by any time, though I do like the quiet in this station. A little company is always good for one's health. I wonder what the relevancy of this NPC will be later. <clears throat> so it sounds like the the jellyfish mist places on one side, and the uh, the fungus fungus spore forest is on the other side, but they both go downwards. Presumably, they both lead to some kind of deep place. Today we choose the path of somewhat less violence. Not 
Not no violence, but but somewhat less violence. Where the hell's my ghost? Hell yeah. Get soul lasered, me. Oh. One of the blue cocoons that I'm supposed to not smash. Hello nest seal. Is that one of these? No. Aha! Official seal of the kingdom of Hallow Nest, symbolizing the authority of the king and his knights. A relic from Hallow Nest's past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. Oh, I can probably give that to someone in exchange for something at some point. Uh, according to the standard video game logic. I am going to smash this, though. Oh! Forgot I have to... No! I had escaped. <laughs> oh well. Deeper, darker, stinkier. Also, I can't get up there without the wall jump, so I might be pushing on the limits of my exploratory capacity. Hmm. Locked from the other side. That feels like it would be bad to touch. Hey, nice to see you, Asheran. Typically, typically, soup is associated with streams, yes. It's how you get it in the bowl. Anyway, it looks like I can't get any further from here. I need wall jump to go up, barrier from one side, and a gate on the other. Which means I think there's nowhere else for me to go on this side. Since up there was... A single room. Which means I can continue exploring in the squid zone. And yes, I know they're jellyfish. I know they're jellyfish. Hmm. I thought the tentacles didn't hurt. Oh well. There you are, you bastard. I've been looking for you. How is Cornifer on the other side of an ancient magical seal? That's what I want to know. He really does get everywhere. He's like mold. If mold were broadly friendly. Okay, so exploration is blocked in that direction. This is back to the green path, which means that there's bits of the green path I had not previously explored. I wonder if we'll unlock some kind of access back to the bits of the green path we've already seen.
Slaughter, violence, kill, murder. No remorse in these empty dead eyes. No comfort in the compulsion to seek the bottom of this abandoned place. Ah! That was unexpected. Oh really? I actually don't think there's a ton of similarity between Cult of the Lamb and this. Cult of the Lamb's much more cutesy, whereas these these guys have a sort of a reserved dignity to them. A face carved from stone. Okay, I'm coming back when I've got the lantern. I do not wish to fall in infinite spikes again. Mm, I can see a similarity in that that regard, yeah. I think I can bat these things back. Or not. I think it's possible to bat these things back if you're better at this than I am. Oh, bench. Stone Sanctuary. Okay, gotta to remember to go back to Stone Sanctuary when I get access to the lamp. Which is 1800 Geo, which we could afford if we saved up. Unfortunately, I am a spendthrift. <laughs> Don't mind me just spilling things on my desk. If I stand exactly here, I'll be fine. Alright. <laughs> Did I not find this already? <clears throat> Really? I hadn't heard uh, connections between this and Angel's Egg in the past. I mean, I've never watched Angel's Egg, but I know about it because I appreciate the works of Mamoru Oshii, but... Um... And that is an alarm reminding me to take medication in an hour. But... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so... Uh, I've not heard people make that comparison before, so I don't know if it's apt because I still haven't watched the damn thing myself. I do think there's a lot of uh, Studio Ghibli to a lot of the more verdant places in this world, such as here, in the green path. Ah, oh, that was way easier than I was making it. There's no point wailing on that uh, peculiar phallus. Because <clears throat> it's not going to provide us with anything we don't already have.
Falling in the water and dying is a special skill unique to those of my path. Hell yeah, treasure chest. Well, fossilized giant creatures, blue black color schemes, and intri intricate cast iron doors are not themselves particularly far from Ghibli's Irv either. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind to it, I think. Congratulations, worm! You are freed. Aha! Oh, look at that. Okay, there's a shortcut up there. I have to come at that from the other side as well. And I definitely can't get up there. So either there is a bigger jump available later, or there's some other ability that will let me get over there, or maybe I can come at it from the other side of the spikes over there when I can get through those spikes. Oh, interesting. Nausicaa is... it has a lot to recommend it, but it's suffered a great deal from being butchered by uh, American editors. To the point where um, Hayao Miyazaki, perhaps apocryphally, um, sent the Western distributor uh, a katana with a message, no more cuts. Which is extremely radical behavior. There was a hole I could get through. Oh, this is a sucky place to die. <laughs> That's far from ideal. Hmm. I might give the manga a go at some point. Was this here before? I thought I'd been through this room, but I don't remember fighting this before. Excuse me, but I would like to leaf. myself with glory this time. It's one leaf beast, Michael. How could it how many hit points could it have? Not oh, that many. Oh, 
I'm astonished at how little money I made off of that. <laughs> how have I not been through this room before? I must have come through here to get to where I died. Oh, I must have hopped across the top, I guess. Hello, me, who is a spooky ghost. <laughs> did I? Yeah, I did kill my ghost. It's fine. Now I just need to not die again on the way out. Okay, I think that's everything I can get a look at here now. So I should probably go back to the Fog Canyon and see if I can make any further progress. Maybe find Cornifer. Wait, I found Cornifer and he was behind a magic wall. Well, at least it's a more convenient place to die. <clears throat> you know, my body can gently become one with the dust and the dirt. Sink gracefully into the soil. again, my jellyfish friend. Oh wait, that's not where this is. I love the dink noise. Maps really do make it a lot easier to navigate. As does not dying horribly in the highly concentrated acid pits. I think I'm missing some stuff up here, but I won't know until I get the map. Now I get the map until that weird magic barrier is gone, and I don't know if I need an ability to break that or if I need plot progression. Which is a thing behind which stuff is gated sometimes in video games. That can't be the bottom of the, the jellyfish place, surely. Ah, okay. So if I want to get that mask piece, I have to have the wall jump. Which means I think the only place I can make progress now is if I go back to the mushroom forest. Jill. 
I wonder if this opens the door at the other end of the town. Probably not. It feels like a fancy, important key for that door. Guess I'm saving up for a lantern. Maybe I should go see the uh, the banker for that purpose then. Bapanada. Hmm. I thought there'd be new things. Apparently not. Squalid is a very good word. Especially when it is used to describe a pathetic, dirt-grubbing town squatting atop the opening of uh, the only true bastion of civilization, also they claim, in this vanished, fallen world. Squalid squats above vanished grandeur. Call that my exercise routine. These are corner for pages. He should be around here somewhere. I think these are corner for pages. My short friend, you've caught me at the perfect time. I'm just about finishing the charting these noxious caverns. Very territorial types make their homes within this area. I'd suggest avoiding them where possible. Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I fear my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them were they, able to, were they to turn violent. I do, in fact, want to purchase a map of the area. There's a potent odour about these caverns, and far worse for me, I suspect. My trunk is quite sensitive, whereas you don't seem to possess a scent organ of any kind. Rude. Is it that you cannot smell at all? I'm very touchy about my lack of a stink detector. jump to get up there. That's locked on that side, and the other way needs wall jump, so where do I go? Yeah, I'm gonna have to start peppering that into regular conversation. walk into the kitchen for breakfast. Ah, hello, my short friend. Do not get tired of the balloons. Do 
time to find out if reflecting projectiles is a universal rule. That would be no. Oh shit, these things do two damage. Never before have I faced such ferocity. Looks like I probably need to go the right from that lower shaft, which is how we got into this zone in the first place, I think. Ah, beans. It's funny you should say that because there's actually several farty guys in this. This is far from the... This is fart from the, the first of them. You see many other types if you explore fart and wide. Really? Who does that? Nobody stops walking around to fart. Who has the time? I'm not sure I can zoom out on this map, actually. I've tried every single button press. Maybe it's from here somewhere. Aha! There is a map. Interesting. Wow! 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 This guy sound like Waluigi. This was not where I needed to go. There's some kind of a secret in here, I can tell. It's not just an empty chunk of room for no reason. There's always, there's always something. I do try not to kill the tiny adorable mushrooms because they're tiny and adorable and very easy to slaughter. Time for the big man today. Oh, I see. Of course, I forgot all about this little intersection and these—the latest of the signs pointing towards the city, which I assumed had been pointing towards Hallow Nest, but perhaps are pointing to where Cornifer's aforementioned skinny guys live.
that open? It makes the indestructible noise when I hit it, not that you're hitting a wall noise. Which is a different... and, uh... Which is a meaningfully different noise. Can't air dodge through things, you don't get iframes, good to know. We remember the elder. I suppose the trick with these things is to lead their own bombs back at them. It is cute, but uh, probably for the best that we indeed have no nose. This feels like a boss fight. Oh, hey, it's Manita Mildred. I remember her from popular video game Dark Souls. Aha, the tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer, so we've much in common. Searching for dangerous places, I Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior sorts, so she says I'm itching for some serious combat. So this is something like the sixth direct parallel character between the characters of Dark Souls 1 and the characters of this game. We've got a Solaire, we've got a Lautrec... We've got a Onion Knight guy whose name escapes me, but is definitely Siegvard or possibly Siegmeier. And uh, someone else, I think. There's a Patches somewhere, I'm told. And now we've got now we've got Manny to Mildred. I am curious as to what's the deal with her paper with her cloth mask. Since the the bone coloured masks worn by a whole bunch of characters seem to denote something about their class in society. Does it mean she's a wannabe of the kind of thing that I am? Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. Alright, she has the look, but not the, uh... Not the attitude of Manny to Mildred. What's the purpose of that shortcut? Does that actually make life easier or not? My only complaint about this game is it's kind of hard to tell what the uh, danger radius on farts is. Oh, it's her.
saved once again by the mysterious pointy phallus statues. An experience I'm sure we can all identify with. Hmm. It's probably a boss fight if I go in after her. I'd rather explore a bit more first. says I've been in here before, but I don't believe I have. Oh, this is the other side of that door. Well, that actually is a useful shortcut. I was going to make fun of it, but it actually is useful. tragedy here is that sometimes it's safer just to murder these poor little buggies. I don't really know what these are supposed to be. Some of the some of the bug creatures seem to have direct analogues. Such as the giraffe weevil. And various beetles and uh, mosquitoes and assorted other things. But I have no idea about these. I remember this from Sonic the Hedgehog. Hell yes, my nightly duty dis discharged, I am free to leave. If I carry on like this, I might have enough for the bug lantern. Let's see, can't get up there. Either we come at it from a different side later, or uh, I guess there's maybe some kind of higher jump later on as well, possibly. It would be one of the classic things to give you in a Metroidvania, which this decidedly is. Oh, hi. Oh, fuck off. Rude. I did not come here to be assaulted. Maybe I will go back. <laughs> I don't want to lose this much money. On the other hand, I have only the uh, banker bug's word to trust them. So who knows what will happen. It would suck to lose it on bad investments as much as it would suck to lose it to literally dying. shortcut. God no, it's such a long way, I can't be bothered. 
I'm just going to go and trust that I am decent enough at video games that I will not lose all of my money. Which is a lot of, what a lot of people say when they start playing gacha games. Unfortunately. I do want to go see where Hornet went first, though. I'm not sure if this ironwork is the same style or a different style to that we've seen earlier. Here ends the Pilgrim's Way. Hollow Nest's heart lies open before you. Proceed onwards to share in its glory. Well, I do not have wall jump, so I guess I will not be proceeding anywhere. Which leaves me once more with only one avenue of progress. If I can parry. If I can't, I'm not quite sure how to beat these guys without taking a bunch of hits. I think I just unlocked some more new notes on something. Oh hey, I fought I fought this guy ages ago. A maggot driven mad by a strange force inhabits a stolen armored shell. Weak creatures love to steal the strength of others. Their lives are brief and fearful, and they yearn to have the power to dominate those who have dominated them. Lie on your belly, open your maw, and let this tasty morsel stroll straight into your stomach. I once more suspect that the hunter is significantly stronger than me. me. Uh, and also, you're welcome that I did not sneeze directly into the microphone. I 
can't tell if these guys are wearing masks like mine or if they just have faces like that. Isn't this where I died? There we go. Behold, Ghost gets wrecked by leet Ghost speedrun strats or something. Okay, this is definitely a different architectural style to the main place. Wanderers seeking death welcome. May you find swift end upon our claws. Friendly bunch. Welcoming to travellers. a longer way down than I thought. God damn it. Well, we seem to be learning plenty. Do I want to change any of these? Gathering swarm, lifeblood, steady body. Nope. I think I'm happy with my loadout.
She sounds like she needs some comfort. Who or whatever she is. Huh. Dash master. <gasps> Secret room! I knew there was some. Nothing in here. Also, who this guy? A skillful looking little beetle, I guess, is what I'll have to go with. That's that feels like a locked door as well. Oh, I guess that statue is the Dash Master. Dash more often as well as dash down. I do actually kind of want that. I can sacrifice two extra temporary hit points. All I do is lose them immediately and then suddenly start being more cautious. I'll just, if I'm just caut cautious from the start, then it won't be a problem. Goodbye. <laughs> That's one way to defeat a problem. Hmm. I guess this is not where I'm supposed to go. If it's not here, then where? This is the only place I haven't been, I think. Yeah, see, I thought this as well, like... In my previous attempts to play this, I made it to the Mantis Village in the past. Oh, that was a lot simpler than I was making it. Gotta remember that a true knight uses all of the tools at their disposal. Oh, these guys have masks on spikes. I wonder if that's masks of the people that I am from. As in, they have a lot of trophies of killing, killing little dudes like me. Although they do also have a lot of iron- oh no, those are wooden cogs, I think. Which fits with their architectural aesthetic. Oh, 
Oh, well, I mean, obviously their kind of visual aesthetic is, is borrowing a lot from the kind of visual iconography and tropes that indicate some kind of tribal entity as opposed to the civilization but the rest is here so i assume that the story is going to be in some way about how the like beetle people absolutely screwed over the uh, the mantis people and the mantis people have been driven to the fringes of the world rather than you know being part of the same society or perhaps even they have been horribly co colonized in some way I seem to be vindicated in this idea, because I am a genius, and deserve all accolades. so sure about this one. It's easier to do stuff once you've figured out the muscle memory for doing stuff, isn't it? That seems like it did more than just open this door. Huh, what's this? It looks like the same icon that led to the banker, or at least the banker's room. Wanderer's Journal, a journal left behind by a long dead traveller. The words are written in a forgotten dialect and difficult to understand. Relic from Hallow Nest's past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. So both of these are useful to someone who's interested in the kingdom's history. I wonder if it opened that door I think I found, although I can't remember where that was.
Well, I suppose I now know that I can get across that gap. But wonder, wonder if it's worth just exploring these zones again. Maybe I should come back another time and explore these zones. Maybe I opened the, the door at the bottom, the pipe store with all the pipes around it. Ah! Hmm. Oh, hang on, it looks like there's a little door on the map up and to the right. Maybe that's what it was. still shut. So if it was a door, it wasn't this one. Oh, that looks rough. I don't think I can get through there. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to take that as evidence that there is a poison water survival ability. Oh, there's a big hole in the Mantis village. Did I miss that? Oh, that is a lot faster. <clears throat> Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh, I see. I can still only do it once per air. Once per jump. Oh, hang on. No, it looks like I can only do it once per jump. Wait, no, I want to see what the hole in the Mantis Village is first. Oh, 
Oh wait, hang on, I can get up that wall now. It always takes me so long to realise my new mobility options. Oh, of course, this is where those big cogs were. I should have put two and two together already. mantises are just not bothered by spikes or if this is like a kind of a cultural thing for them it's like machismo if you're not tough enough to live in the village full of spikes then maybe you're not tough enough to live amongst us but father i have lacerated my hands for the third time this week well my son i'm sorry but you must simply get good get good at knife wall study? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, we have some spikes in our home, but they're tame spikes, and as such, uh, they are highly controlled. We have the specialised kitchen spikes, which we keep in the kitchen spike box when they're not being used. And so on. Come on. It's not like I'm brutally and violently invading your home or anything. Now that I think about it, the mantises might be on the right here. Or in the right, not on the right. Sure, I'm glad I have more than four hit points, I say, with five hit points. I mean, I suppose I have invaded their home and then proceeded to slaughter them and take their treasure. So I guess maybe it's not a case of his colonialism having been done to these poor mantis people historically. Perhaps that is something in which I am participating as we speak. That looks like a boss fight. I'm not done not being in a boss fight. Books for did you once step on a fork in your own home? Hmm. There must be another way, there must be another side. It'll let me get in there. I wonder what it wonder where I go to get through there. Oh 
Oh, it's him. It's my good buddy Quirrell. Hello again. I suppose you've already met with the tribe of this village, hmm? They seem a little distrustful of strangers, to put it lightly. Well, gee, I wonder why. They're not brutes, though. No, the sickness in the air that clouds the mind of lesser beasts. They resist it. They retain their intellect and their honour, although also their lethal traditions. I have some words of advice, my friend. If you plan to challenge the lords of this tribe, your blunted nail may prove inadequate. There's a city nearby, the old capital of Hallownest. I've heard a nailsmith resides there. Seek the old bug out and you may find progress that much easier. My own route takes me towards that great city. If you search out the nailsmith, it may not be long till our paths cross again. I thought everyone who came around here was looking for Hallow Nest. That was kind of the whole deal. I must know. I must find out how to get into the bench room in the village. still locked as well. People surely love to be telling me to go to Hallernest, but not how to go to Hallernest. It's weird that Quirrell says, go get your sword fixed in Hallernest before, before you can fight these guys. But I'm pretty sure the only way for me to progress currently is to attempt to fight those guys. Which means I would very much like to preserve my money. if I fight those guys and it's like a planned death, I can't remember what they call it, but games love to have you put you in a fight that you cannot win uh, and have you lose on purpose. So if that's the case, I don't know how that will interact with my money and the capacity to win it back by fighting my ghost. Since I can nearly afford the exorbitant price of the magic lantern, Inclined not to take that risk. Uh, it's just the long way around.
Gio. Excuse me, Mrs. Banker. I would like you to take all of my money, please. I would appreciate it if Gio, you would invest it only in the safest of uh, bonds. Bankers do love to get a little injection of capital. Why? Their eyes light up. These are liquid assets. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area, available now for an excellent price. So what are you all about, the man? You've got to admire the hustle. Oh, I can go here now. I couldn't go here before because I didn't have the wall jump. Treasure, 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 treasure. I mean, I guess that's treasure. Those guys aren't so much as treasure aren't so much treasure as a promise of future treasure. Oh, this seems like a tough one. Oh, I didn't lose hit points on that. Hell yeah. The spore shroom. Oh, look, it's low down the list. It must be powerful. Scatters spores when exposed to soul. When focusing soul, emit a spore cloud that damages enemies. Huh. Neat. in the drink again. It was a good thing I, uh... Man, that's so far away. I didn't have any geo. What happens if I just leave it? And die somewhere else? In fact, what a magnificent opportunity to simply leave all my cares behind. How do I get in there? One day I will discover it.
All right, time to challenge these guys, I guess. Can I just come on, guys? Like, I get that I get that you want to make yourselves a major obstacle in my divine journey, but like, it's kind of rude. You could have had the door shut before I come in. You don't need to like slam it literally in my face. Ooh, dramatic. these guys. It's just me or is he getting faster? I'm supposed to fight them properly here. I felt like I was doing okay up until I died. It would definitely be helpful if I could get the the checkpoint, but I, I can't figure out how to get down there. Not off to a great start. <laughs> oh, oh, beans. What are you supposed to do here? I did fine the first time. I hit him like 15 times. Oof. 
got bodied so hard I dropped a viewer. Do you just wake up sadly staring at your feet on the bench? Yes, that's correct. You do wake up standing, uh, staring sadly at your feet on the bench when you die. This is what happens in real life too. But the Vatican don't want you to know it. Maybe I should- I mean, actually, now that I think about it, I've got the- I've got the wall jump. Which unlocks at least one new area, so maybe I should... Maybe I should try and go to Hallow Nest and then come back. Finish what those assholes started. My ghost can shoot ghost ghost soul beams. We learn something new every day in this life. Okay, it ain't that tough then. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay. I think whether or not this is the next main goal on the game's critical path, I think I'm going to go get some power-ups elsewhere first. Yeah, I need to go- I need to go grind for some better drops. Uh... Maybe do some raids, you know, get a pickup group. Try and get a couple legendaries. Oh my god, leave me alone, you assholes! <laughs> I lost, I'm leaving, it's fine.
You successfully repelled me. It's fine. I'm going. Alright. I guess actually I do know the way to Hallow Nest. I would guess. this before. Here ends the pilgrim's way. Hallow Nest's heart lays open before you. Proceed onward to share in its glory. There were some interesting similar messages from before, but I can't quite remember what they ouch, said. Oh, that's a nice little bit of mercy there. <laughs> A little bit of game designer sympathy. Is this man gonna fight me? A large knight statue. There is a socket on its chest. Insert the city crest. Now, I only found that by exploring. I wonder how you're supposed to get here if you didn't explore enough to just have happened to have found that. Or maybe... No, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Ah! What are you up to? That thing's gonna lock me in. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool behavior. Very, very smart design for a front door. It'd be really funny if this was just a way out. <laughs> Well, I guess I live here now. Amongst the dust and the corpses. And whatever that weird exploding bird is. Hey, is this going to put me outside? Oh. Wow, this place is so heavily cursed that it can... Uh... <laughs> nice job killing my ghost, asshole. Excuse me. Oh, hey. It's always nice to have a fight against a proper knight. Jesus, the radius on those. Wait, if this is all down here, then how do I get to the other side of the switch that was up here? Maybe you have to go down from above, yeah. Oh, I wish I'd uh, I wish I'd gone back up to the surface and explored a bit more then, instead of coming straight down here. Since I'm locked in now. 
Still, this is what happens when you play Metroidvanias, even incredibly beautiful and haunting Metroidvanias about living in the ashes of something once beautiful and then discovering that that beautiful thing was highly, highly questionable and compromised, and yet still had its grandeur. Great gates have been sealed. None shall enter, none shall leave. I, am I not at the Great Gate then? Because it kind of seemed like the gate I went through was a big old, big old gate. Maybe it's unsealed. Hey, Quirrell. The capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber place it seems, and one that holds the answers to many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, though now I sit before it I find myself hesitant to descend. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? Very insightful. The city looks to be built into an enormous cavern, and the rain pours down from cracks in the stone above. There must be a lot of water up there somewhere, I suppose. If the cave roof stayed strong this long, it should hold for us. Before I leave this kingdom, I'd like to see where all that water comes from. What a sight it must be. Oops. Oh no, I missed a line. I'll never see it again. Well. Where is Anno Londo up in here? The City of Tears. So named, doubtlessly, because of... Uh, the constant rain. I think perhaps exploring that way will be for another time. I think first I want to go see what I presume is the nail shop. Are these all nail handles? Cool, a screaming forge. It's not ominous at all. Oh, would you look at that? It's Dark Souls character number seven, Andre the Blacksmith. Mm, Have you brought me another nail to be honed? Leave it on the ground and return later if you're still breathing. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Oh, I thought you were someone else. After a nail smith, are you? Well, you found one. I'm not much for talk, but if it's a nail needs repair, then you've come to the right bug. Your own nail's in quite a sorry state. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with effort and skill, even a broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Oh, I need 250 geo. I shouldn't have put all my money in the bank. 
So I guess I have to go farm Geo and then come back. Or, you know, die like an idiot. It's also always an option. Hey, Quirrell, can you spot me like 150 Geo? Hmm. That's, that's a no then. are worth 10. That's nothing. Oh, I don't get Geo if he falls in the water. Interesting. farming these empty husks for Geo. I'll have to go see if I can find some, I don't know, better targets. Well, I'm not going to get any Geo like that, am I? Actually, I think I'm going to call it for the night. I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.